No, why? <laughs> no! No! Run! Run, baby Allo! Well, it's been a hot minute since the last episode over here on Svartalfheim, but yeah, we're back after our major live stream. It was five hours long, and I'd understand if people didn't want to watch all of that. Uh, let me just fill you guys in, because technically this will be episode two. I'm not going to just call the live stream episode two. Five hours is a lot to watch. So, um, what has happened is we did our charity live stream, and in that live stream, we tamed pretty much everything you see here. Uh, I had some moss chops in episode one, I do believe, right? And we had a pego, I think, as well. I think it was this one. But, um, the moss chops ended up dying, and yeah, we have all this stuff. So, we have a lot of diplos, unfortunately. Um, my wife, of course, joined me on that live stream. Here she is. Beautiful. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, she has an issue with bringing home orphans. So, now we have three diplos. Um which is way this three more than I usually would have actually had. I think that they were actually mutated, weren't they? I think they might have been. Uh, yeah, no, there's no levels pumped into this, so it is not mutated. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, you know what it was? It's the bonus levels. Never mind. I think one of them was mutated, though. Yeah, I think the cyan one over here is actually mutated. So, yeah, we, uh, we have tons of creatures here. This right here was a max level stego. In fact, we found so many max levels on um, the stream. Yeah, this one here is actually mutated. This one was also doing push-ups as well. Honestly, it was a really fun time, but we do need to continue from here, and um, I guess the real question is, what are we continuing with? What do we do? Well, first of all, uh, we already have, like, some decent-ass teams, so we could probably jump ahead quite a bit, a lot faster than I usually would, but um, in terms of, like, gear and everything, we've got some, like, we've got the basic tools. I've got some decent stuff from some alpha kills, and, um, yeah, just in general, we should be pretty much good to go here. So, real quick, I did spot this. I think that she might have made this. Um, so, let's check this out. It's the Dwarven uh, Workbench, and I believe that's from the uh, the Structures mod, I do believe. Let's see. So, I did actually just learn all of these things a couple minutes ago as well, and then I realized that we already have one of these benches. But inside of here, we've got some skins. Ooh, do I have an Alpha Raptor Claw? I might do. We definitely killed a few. I don't know if we actually have the claws, though. We should do. I didn't spot them there. Um, Not in there. Maybe inside of here. Da -da. No, not in there. Come on. Ugh, where did they go? Maybe they're on the creatures? I have no idea. We definitely killed some alphas, though. I don't know if we grabbed their claws. I have no idea. <laughs> um. Anyway, you know what? We'll just... We'll just We'll just skip on from there. It has actually been a full week since since the stream and everything, so I don't really remember everything, but yeah, I guess if we find some Alpha Raptor Claws, we will totally make up those skins. So wait, there was a there was a an axe. Is this a pickaxe then as well? The same kind of thing. I think this did I just spot Uteranus long. Yeah, wow, okay. Dwarven uh guardian armor. Okay. Nice. So, I guess we'll make this stuff at some point as well. It costs quite a lot. Quite a lot of metal. Quite a lot of polymer. And then I need to kill five Uteranuses for the full set. So, I think maybe I'll just save up for this stuff. When I have all that, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and make it. Okay, so I actually forgot to mention this while I was recording the video. But we've actually got a new server dropping for my patrons. It's got all of the exact same mods and everything that we have on this series and it's of course on this map so if you're interested there's a link to the patron down below we've also got the island and eventually when scorch comes out we'll have a map for that too so yeah check it out if you're interested i guess the real question is what do we do well we, we gotta head out first of all we gotta head out and about and um and see what we can kind of find because right now we're already kind of set up. We we need to just leave this area for the moment and head off on a little adventure, maybe looking for some stuff. I think the main thing that I want to try and find is some beaver dams for some uh, cementing paste, of course. Do I have anything on you? No, not really. Cool. Okay, that's good. Didn't really want a ton of stuff on top of my, uh, my carno so we can actually carry some stuff home. So this is pretty much the only way to get out of my area that I'm in. So we definitely need to move from there. I think I'll probably keep the cave the way it is, but... Yeah, we, we need to get out of that spot and build somewhere else because kind of a pain. Um, in terms of the map and everything, it's still kind of bugged out. We can't really, like, see where we are right now, or maybe I can. I, I don't really know what's happening. I feel like this isn't correct, though. Have I seen a giant... What is that? Is that, like, a windmill? I don't think I've been there. Maybe I have. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Don't really know what we're uncovering. Don't really know what we have uncovered because... It's, it's all kind of strange, but just in general, so far from what I've seen in this map, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love what I'm seeing, and I'm super excited to continue 
Just a little bit of information. Let me actually not go this way because I know that's a dead end. We need to go up and around. A little bit of information though. So there are actually zero flyers on this whole map. Like they do not spawn, which is an interesting choice for sure, but definitely an, a good one for gameplay wise. I mean, the fact that you, you can't, it's not that you just can't tame them. You can't even find them. And I don't believe that you could even spawn them in if you wanted to. So I don't know. That's, that's going to make it very interesting. And I feel like we're going to need to work on trying to get a better traveling mount then if that's the case, you know, if I can't fly around the map, then I'm going to need to work and focus on getting some teams that can bring me around the map quite a lot. Uh, we have kind of checked out around there a little bit. Some of it's coming back to me navigation wise. Haven't really been around this area a huge amount. So it's all kind of just piecing back to me. Uh, let's go across this bridge because it's nice and bright over here. In fact, over here actually would be a pretty fantastic first base location because of the just the look of the area, but also just like, I don't know. It's just so bright, <laughs> which is really great. Oh my God. Okay, hang on. Let me let me head up this hill a little bit. Um, so we found quite a lot during the live stream. We found crops. We found uh, the redwoods and we got almost attacked by some thylas as well. That uh, kind of gold metal over there, that's actually like normal metal. And then you can also get gold ore from it, which is used later on with some sort of refining forge or something. I don't really know. Is that like, um, is that something I can learn? Uh, no, maybe just type in forge. Uh, yeah, that's the regular vanilla one. I'm not sure how to get that special one. Maybe it's something on the map. I have no idea. So yeah, the, the gold is important. Like we're, we're just trying to learn things. Cause again, I've never played on this map before. Uh, let's see. Let me focus on trying to kill some of these guys. Come on. Let me get you. Nice. Okay, sweet. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. Uh, Saber could be a pretty decent traveling mount, actually. Sabers are pretty good. I have heard that they're taking headshot damage right now, which is very terrible. I don't like the idea of that, of my tamed Saber taking headshot damage all the time. I like dealing headshot damage to the wild ones, but maybe not so much uh, actually losing my creature in like 20 seconds when i get hit in the head like four times that is a red drop can we get red drops what level even are we oh yeah dude i can get red drops maybe not a red drop with a ring if that all still works the exact same way but yeah definitely could get a red drop that's a 130 i'm killing don't worry it's fine we actually killed a 150 on the stream i think or maybe we left it i don't really know um let's see let me see if i can get over there actually because a red drop could be kind of killer so right now uh just kind of looking around um that mountain over there is fantastic looking i kind of want to go up there but i don't know how i'd have to find a pathway because obviously again no no flyers um i have heard that the may wings are either being added back or have been added in i don't know which one it is but that's kind of huge that's the very first non-island creature getting added to this map Ugh, i know we're so low in stamina but i want to try and make it over here a little bit let me just walk a little and then reach in. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get some more non-island creatures because like things like the shadow mains and everything, I believe all those guys had um, had R, or not R variants, S variants, which is like the, the Svartalfheim versions. Let's see, come on. Let me get over here. Please don't break immediately. Okay, hang on. Let's see, let's grab. Uh, oh, that's a lot of good stuff. Let me on. Thank you. What did I get? Oh, we got a raptor. Let me kill you get you real quick nice i know we got that i spotted that and i spotted the polymer we also got some straight up polymer we got a shield we got a scuba tank okay yeah that's actually gonna be quite nice that means that we can we can dive into the water a little bit i don't have flippers so i can't really swim that fast but i don't know that's quite nice let's uh let's go ahead and pump this up just a little bit by the way, guys, don't forget to do me a favor and hit the like button if you enjoy this one. Um, weird episode two kind of taking off from here, but maybe we'll just call the stream episode 1.5. Let me see. Can I get up there? I want to see what's up here because that looks like just crazy looking. I don't know. <laughs> like what? What am I even looking at? Oh, there's some sort of temple. I haven't been here. I have not been here yet. What is this? Is this? Uh. Maybe, okay, I thought it might have, like, let in or something, like, into a cave or something like that. But I guess it's just, like, a cool temple or, like, little monument or something. I don't really know. Nice. It's, like, a prehistoric gazebo. Or prehistoric. <laughs> Medieval. There we go. Or dwar I don't know. What would you even call dwarven stuff? It's, yeah. Dwarves aren't... I mean, like, 
No, I'm not even going to continue that sentence. Um, <laughs> anyway. Wait, what level is that? 130. Mm, we'll kill it. I don't really want to tame a Carno right now. We've already got one. Come on, bruh. Let me get you. And we are almost done. This is a really tough fight. Come on, bro. Die already, please. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let me eat you up. So, is there a way up here? It's obviously not this way. Let me go around this way here. There's got to be a way up. Like, if there's no flyers, that means that everything has to be accessible by foot. It's just, uh, you might end up, you know, running around the whole mountain for like 10 minutes trying to find the pathway or something. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of want to get up there. That looks cool. I feel like, wait, is that, is it snowy up there? It actually kind of looks like it. I might be able to find a Uteranus if we get up there as well, actually. All right, we need to find a way up though. So it's definitely not this side. It doesn't seem like it anyway. So I think I'll, I'll run around here. We'll just drop down and I can't see. Ooh, I could not see how high we were. There we go. Stupid trees. All right, let me get in here, get some hide because we can easily get it. Let me just bleed it down. Nice. And eat you up. Sweet. All righty. I did see a, a pathway. Yeah, here it is. We got you as well. If there's a pathway here. Maybe we can get up and around from this spot. So the fact that we actually have crops that we can go to if I can find them again, which I think I might be able to. Oh, that could be good. The fact that we have those is great. So... We might, we might take advantage of that instead of having to make our own farm for a little while. Um, yeah, 130 S Dodic could be really cool. The S creatures, uh, they have increased stats, and I can't remember the exact configuration. Maybe somebody will write it down below. But, um, yeah, so they're kind of like the, the aberration, or sorry, the aberrant creatures, the, um, what do you call them? The X creatures, the R creatures from Ark. All those creatures had, like, kind of like plus 10% into one stat minus 10% into another and yeah they were just essentially like a little bit different so I I think maybe the R creatures were a little bit more um tankier or something like that yeah so basically that's kind of how they were um let's grab all this let me eat a little piece of food we don't really need a huge amount right now in fact I'm probably going to need water I thought I had a water jar I guess I didn't maybe I did and then a pego took it I don't know we'll We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get something for that. In fact, I could probably just go for a, um, what do you call it? Uh, fabricator and just make a couple canteens. That would be a little bit better, I would say. Let's see. I want to get up here, though. I really do. This, this mountain could be great. Plus, if we get up here, we can see the whole land. We can see what's around. We can figure out where I want to go. Um, right now, I think what I'm kind of doing is I don't think we're really looking for anything to tame. I think what I want to do is just to try and figure out where we are in terms of this map because we can't fly up and look uh but also maybe trying to find a decent spot to build in um something somewhat central like that spot that i pointed out earlier was pretty nice we could do that potentially this seems like the right path right i think it is oh yeah this definitely seems right looks also very spooky <gasps> oh that's that's a crazy ass view up there whoa okay I feel like rock drakes are going to spawn in here or something. I know that they're not in this map right now. I don't know if there's ever going to be eggs, but yeah, that's crazy. Damn. All right. I feel like this is definitely the right path, though. So we just need to get out of this little cave and just maybe see if it like, loops up and around somewhere. I don't really know. Let's see. Um, we've also got another mountain I did spot over in this direction here, but that one doesn't go up as high. Oh, what is that in the distance? Is that like a fortress? Oh, it was, like, very square. I thought that it was, like, some sort of, um... I don't know, just giant fortress or something. Uh, we got something there, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. We haven't been there, I don't think. All right, let's see. Is there a way up here? I really want to get up here. I don't know why. I just... It, it, it looked very adventurous. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, though. Um, crap, this looks like it leads back down. How do I get up there? Oh, my torch is gone. Uh, we're still, yeah, we're not cold. We're good. We're good. Ah, oh, man. Alrighty. Come on. There's gotta be a way. Where's the pathway? <laughs> Is there a secret entrance or something? How do I join the mountain? You know, I, I wanna, I wanna be up there. I wanna, I wanna see what's about. Um, we could also go over there too. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. Well, yeah, we'll just keep following around this direction here. Uh, okay. This leads up. Okay. This is promising. 
This is definitely promising. I hope. <laughs> I said that like three times so far and it's all led to like nothing. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. You know, a pathway that like loops up and uh and around this has got to be it like a winding path up the mountain come on where's the next part though or does this just keep going around i think it kind of does all right so the carno should be full of stamina now just want to continue the adventure so i think i'll just hop off every single time and we'll just uh we'll just run on foot and have the carno follow me yeah this is totally it Ooh, nice little blue crystals there all right it's very jagged on our way up here are you kidding no Where's the way? <laughs> I thought I was, I seriously thought I was on the right track. Did I miss a way? I don't think I did. Um, crap. I think there might've been another way this direction. I don't know. I thought I might've spotted like another pathway up. Come on. Yeah, we can go around that way. Okay, that, that might be it. Okay, so maybe I just went the wrong direction. Oh, come on, please. This has got to lead up here. I just, I want to be up there. Come on. How do I, how do I do it? Is this it? Uh, yeah, that looks like it leads up. It's quite dark to look at, but yeah, for sure. This is definitely the right way. Okay, nice. Let's get you just following again. We'll just run it. Nothing really seems to be up here, especially water, which is something that I'm going to need. Huh? That's bad. Can I do a rain dance? Perhaps. <laughs> It would be great if it actually just started raining, like, immediately. Um, okay. Hopefully there's, like, a little lake or something up here. Please. There usually is. I mean, at the mountain. Water's got to collect up at the top and then rain all the way down for some beautiful waterfalls. Um, we made it. I think this is it, yeah? We pretty much made it. Look at that tree. Okay. I want to check out that side, but maybe... Can we kill these guys first? Just keep batting them back and hitting them with the bleed. Uh, no, 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 no. You guys are savages. I kill your friend and you just eat them. Wow, all right. Let's see. Yeah, they're they're just regular aloes, so we'll just uh, maul through them if we can. They are hurting me quite a lot with that pack bonus and everything, and probably mate boost. That one's almost dead. There we go. Come on. Let's just aim for this one. Chase him down a little bit. Oh, they got a baby aloe. Oh, dude, I can take that. That could be mine. Look at me taking in the orphans now as well. Okay, we got that one. Come on, bruh. Come on, let me get you. Oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim that baby aloe. I'm gonna feed it its parents. This is it. This is how, like, it, this is how Savage Ark is now. You, you can just kill them in front. You can just kill the parents in front of the baby, claim the baby, raise it as your own, and feed it its parents. I love that. It's just, this is the greatest game ever. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Here, I got some parent meat. There you go. What's that taste like? <laughs> Huh? What'd you think? Was there another one? I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Hmm. All right, cool. Well, anyway, we got we got a baby aloe. Uh, this tree's very nice. Very cool looking. Um, I actually thought it was like uh, snowy up here because of that. So that's pretty interesting. Let me go up to the peak of the mountain, to the summit, right? I think that's what they call it. So you know what? Probably would be a handy thing to actually grab these berries as well actually that could be a good idea too let me uh let me just check all their bags grab any berries that we have uh i could grab a bunch off the ground as well but for the moment you know these are just available i think like even just i don't know berries never really give that much but we got them available i don't need to run around grabbing them let's go ahead and do this grab these ones too and that nice and we'll just eat the rest of these that will give me maybe just a little bit Probably not enough. If I start running around on the ground, it's definitely not going to be enough. All right, we got a baby aloe. Sweet. All right, he'll follow me, hopefully. If he can't keep up, then he wasn't worth it. So let's see. Let me get up here. So far, though, like, pretty great view. Can kind of see around quite a lot. Got a raptor right here. We got to kill this guy before the baby gets here, especially. Got you. Nice. Um, Let's run up this way. Let's see. What do we have? Ooh. What is that? Is that like just a regular Rex? Okay, yeah. It was blue, but it wasn't blowy, so I wasn't sure. I, I kind of thought that it wasn't going to be one of those, um, those S Rexes. 
Come on. Oh, crap. We got a saber here, too. Ooh. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. They're eating my butt. Oh, they're trying. Oh, they're we're fighting together, but kind of against each other, too, because I've just killed one of their own kind. Nice. Um, That's a 135 that's being killed. All right. At least I got the kill on it. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. This dude's just healed completely, hasn't he? Yeah. I should be maybe just focusing on killing these guys and then eating them and then focusing on killing the Rex because that thing is just healing all the time. Bruh, come on. The baby Allo is almost here. No. Okay, baby Allo, you stay right there. Just watch. You know, this is what you're going to have to be doing in the future. No, why? <laughs> no. No. Run. Run, baby Allo. Oh, he's dead. He was on passive flee. It's fine. It's all good. It was only like a level 37 or something. So yeah, it is what it is. Holy crap, dude. I didn't even get the kill because he bled out. God damn it. All right. Well, anyway, we got it. We lost the baby aloe, but we, um, we've killed the Rex. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that really hurt. Yeah, that is, uh, that's, um, that's a lot of damage right there. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's see. We came up here for the view. Uh, I've got a little bit of water actually from those berries, which is nice. Let's see. So that's obviously the land that we came from. Hmm. Oh, I kind of want to turn off the fog just to see, but I won't. I know people don't really like the, uh, they're not even actually cheats. They're just like kind of configuration commands almost because you don't even have to be in admin mode to, to type them in or anything. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I won't turn it off though. But this is uh this is a really crazy view. Um let's see. Where do I want to kind of go? What is over there? Is that that just looks like external mountains? Um hmm. We got a yellow drop there at least. It's down here. Is that that lake that I've been to? It could be. It's really hard to tell because of the uh the light shafts and everything. Hmm. This looks like a snowy place over in this direction. Where exactly are we? Can I see yet? Oh, I'm on the map. Nice. That's sick. All right. Well, that's good. Um, I guess I can see if I can go to that tower. Oh, I spotted you. Hello. Okay. You know what? I will heal the Carno and then we're going to go fight that Alpha Raptor. Although, you know what? What level is it? Because I could just be able to kill it. The only issue is if it's got friends, which I think it does. Yeah, it's got some Raptor friends. Now, it's it may seem silly, but those things will do more damage than the alpha. So fighting them right now, probably not the best idea with only 2k health. So we will heal, and then we will go over and hopefully try to kill that thing. But first, the healing. Also, maybe a couple levels into that. Yeah, that might work. You know what as well? Let's actually get that onto the bar because that is kind of killer. Not gonna lie. It's not amazing, but you know, it's a compound bow. It's a lot better than what I have right now, I think, maybe. All right, getting down to the last couple pieces of meat here. It looks like I don't even have enough to fully heal, but that's okay. Yeah, very, very close. All righty, so we should be able to take this guy out. Also, now we have a much better look at the land. Huh, we will check that out in one second. Let me, uh, let me focus on killing this Alpha Raptor, though. So we can get headshots on him. We just got to make sure that I'm not actually getting the final kill. Okay, we're not getting any headshots, apparently. Let me try and get maybe one or two to begin with. Uh, there we go. Okay, we need to kind of aim right there. Yeah, I forgot we have to, like, specifically be looking at its, its head. Angling the Carno's face exactly at its head to be able to get those headshots. Um... See if I can... Oh, crap, yeah. It's, it's getting, like, too close to me. Maybe if I aim completely down. Okay, that's working. Nice. Come on. Give me your claw. I need it. I need it for... <laughs> I need it to make a skin, I guess. I don't know. That's, that's what your life has kind of just turned into. I need you for levels, and I need your claws for skin. For skin. <laughs> for skins. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Alrighty. Let's uh, go ahead and eat you up. Sweet. Um. So there we go. We got one of those. Obviously, you only ever get one, but, you know, so far, we've killed a couple alphas, but I've only ever actually grabbed one. Let's see. So, this looks potentially familiar. I don't know exactly. Again, like, it's so hard to navigate when I don't know the map, but I've also only been on, on ground, you know, and no crazy high ground like this. This is probably the highest I've been up uh, in this map. Don't know where the Redwoods is. I've been there. That's a cave. That is 100% a cave right there. 
Okay, and there's like a fancy bridge going towards it. That's something fancy. There's many fancy bridges. Okay, cool. So there's something over there. So we will eventually check out whatever the hell that is. Um, ooh, ooh, I almost like bounced out of the uh, the area. There we go. We got the red ones over here. I've been over in this direction. Um, don't think I don't think I've been to that lake right there. But there was like a lake maybe on the coast. <gasps> oh, you nearly pushed me off. Get away. We're okay. Yeah, there was a lake kind of, I think, on the opposite side of the Redwoods or something. And uh, I've been there. Okay. So, again, it's very hard to tell where I have and have not been, considering the fact that the map is uh, is a bit bugged out right now. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it will be fixed at some point. It's not a major concern, but it's all good. Um, at least we're actually on the map right now. Let's see. So, what do we have over in this direction? So, we have Giant-Ass Lake pretty nice like land leading around and everything okay let me run around this side and take a little look we just right now we just need to find like a nice spot to try and build in but um also some beaver dams would be great i really don't think we're going to come across those though today don't really know where we would even find them i mean rivers and stuff obviously but like what kind of biome because beavers kind of just spawn everywhere and we are in serious need of some water let's do this let's actually grab out all these goodies just uh, eat all those berries again. And boom. Nice. It's not going to give me a crazy amount, but a little bit. Did I get any levels? Oh, I did. Okay. There we go. Nice. And we've also got um, nine levels on you. Let's pump all those into melee. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know where I would find the beaver dams. I think we'll probably just have to eventually come across them. Because I don't, like, I'm not going to see them from here, obviously. Okay, well, that mountain over there looks interesting. I don't really know. It's so hard to be able to tell. So, in terms of, like, better traveling mounts, I think if I could get myself a Procoptodon, that would be kind of killer because, you know, they can jump really high, um, all that good stuff. A Thyla would also be great, and here's the reason why. Uh, there's also this crazy Thyla armor that we can get eventually. Is that... I don't, have I, I don't think I've been there. That's like a little fort. Oh, I should go down to there. Oh, that actually could be a good spot to build at for the moment. Because it's, like, squared in and there's, like, walls and everything. Yeah, that could be it. Um, We might do that, potentially. What is that? I thought that was, like, those guys are crazy colors. <laughs> I thought it was, like, gold. And I was like, oh, that gold is moving. <laughs> um, Yeah, let's, let's head down there. Because, like, just in general, like, there's a lot here. Also, there is an island apparently off the coast. And I think it might be that one that... It, there's like a fort there and there's like these um there's like these dwarven uh creatures that you can go fight for some loot but apparently they're really difficult to kill or something like that i don't really know eventually that's the plan if we can get there we can start killing those guys getting some great loot and everything um you know that's the plan probably maybe a, a good few episodes down the line but eventually when we can do that um that would be pretty cool but right now not gonna be a thing <laughs> obviously uh, let's run this way. I don't want to have to fight every single creature that I see. And... Whoop. Hey, nice. I love jumping back on before you hit the ground. Okay, so we're just going to run down this way. Not going to bother with that saber chasing me. If I can outrun it, maybe, potentially, I might be able to. Uh, yeah, it's... Okay, no, there we go. I like that they're, like... Their pathfinding doesn't let them run and jump off cliffs at you all the time. Which is kind of great. I like that because, you know, you're not getting, like, swarmed by creatures all the time. Um, all right. Let's see. So, the fort was, like, over in the... Oh! Oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, you're not the same one. Okay, wait. I thought you were that one that we were looking at. I guess you're not. Um, <laughs> let me just... Let me get the kill, then. Oh, he's got a baby! Uh, I'm not carrying that thing back. That's the thing. Like, if I, if I tame something super far away... That's super slow. I'm gonna have to walk it all the way back. You know that sounds painful. So we're gonna we're gonna need Procoptodon for sure if I'm if I'm claiming any babies because yeah we we need to be able to get them back home quickly. Um so if we go oh there's like a little house down here as well, dude. There's so much to look at. Am I gonna make it to the lake? <gasps> Ooh, okay. I don't trust it. I did not completely trust it. Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't. That water was not deep enough. Okay. Let's see. Let me get over here. Um, let me see. <laughs> get a little dock. Some sort of like little uh, fishing hut type thing. Okay. That's pretty. 
Nice. Oh, it's got like, oh, that's actually kind of cool looking. Nice. All right. I should not have you on follow when I'm going into little buildings. You're not going to figure out how to get into them. Um, we will actually just gamma up just because, um, you know, I want the video to be watchable. Let's see. Let me go in this direction. Yeah, this is it. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. This could work. What is that in the middle? It's like an anvil. Nice. Pretty cool looking. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It has an inventory. Oh, this is, this is an obelisk. Ah, oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> By the way, for the moment, apparently there's only the brood mother, but that's okay. We'll, we'll eventually have all three bosses, I would assume. I, I had no idea this was going to be an obelisk. There we go. All right, let me get up here. So probably can't build here then, if that's the case. This is pretty cool. Look, if there's a Therizino down here as well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. I mean, is this what all the obelisks look like? Are they like little forts with um with all this going on? Because I don't know. This is kind of cool. I like it. All right. Let me get down here. Probably should just use the stairs. All right. So let's see. If I can't build here, then we're going to have to figure something else out. <laughs> Things are not going swimmingly here today. You know, we're uh, we're just... I'm really just struggling to, to find a nice spot and also beaver dams. Which we, again, have not even seen a single beaver, so eventually I'll find them, though. I mean, maybe you guys could, like, give me some hints or something, but we'll, we'll find them eventually. See, the reason why I desperately want some beaver dams, which I probably should have explained before now. Um, let's see, where are those structures? They were down here. I think, like, level 40-ish or something. Uh, let's see. They should be around here? Where are they? Oh, I see what I've done. I had that clicked. I didn't even know. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, oh, Dwarven, there we go. So this is all of the stuff. So it's kind of like metal tier, which might be a bit advanced for us at the moment. But if I had some cementing paste, we could do it because there's like a lot of metal around. Like metal is very abundant on this map. Um, so yeah, if we could manage to get some cementing paste in abundance, we could actually just make a little house for the moment. But this, uh, this whole structure system is, um... Is completely like the exact same as uh as the vanilla ones the new vanilla ones of course so yeah pretty cool eventually we can we can maybe make up something but that's what i kind of wanted to do i wanted to see if i could like mess around with that stuff for the moment just to make like a little little two by two or something and then eventually expand out make it a little bit bigger and then yeah i don't know Ooh, hello i'm not gonna fight you i don't want to fight you get away from me stay away where is it there it is <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe we should just kind of head back towards uh, the base. No, not going to give me rare, rare mushrooms at all, I don't think. Yeah, probably not. Mm, I think I tried to use a sickle on them during the stream, and it didn't work either. So, yeah, it's probably not going to be a thing at all. All right, let me kill this guy. Nice, he threw some poop in my face right before he died. That's a great way to die, bro. Die with that dignity. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll continue without mine because you've just thrown poop into my face amazing all right is that the bridge no this is not the one that i know of okay yeah i know which one this is though we saw it a minute ago all righty so yeah we'll just um we'll just pass down this way we'll kind of go back to the base for the moment we can actually make up one of those skins which is pretty cool so yeah right now like we just seriously i need to figure out where i want to move to what kind of creatures i want to try and tame um because, again, we need we need something that can get me around the map a lot. And that will be, like, the main tame. And then everything else can be, like, a side tame. While we kind of explore and, and find some things to, to tame up and everything. I think if I could find, like, an S Thyla, I would probably go for it. But I don't know how rare they are. Because so far we've seen a couple S creatures, but not a crazy amount. So I do believe that they are a lot rarer than, like, their vanilla counterparts. So, yeah. We'll, um... We'll head back anyway. We'll just see if we can make up that skin. Because we do have that claw. I think I might make the uh, the hatchet skin first. Because that one looked a lot cooler. Alright, let's see. Apparently I died like right over there. I think I remember that death. That's when the moss chops died. Right? Did I only die one time during that stream? I think I did. Whoa. I'm a pro. I didn't even die because of my own mistakes. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Actually, you know what? I'm just thinking. Out of everything that I've been talking about. Oh, Procoptodons. Oh, Thylas. If I could find a Maywing, I'd tame it. Maybe Redwoods. That could be a thing. We could do that for the next episode. 
Um, yeah, that could be... That could certainly be a thing. I think maybe what I should do is... Uh, is... We, we need... Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna need a canteen for sure. I should probably get that going. If we can get a canteen, then we'll be kind of golden. I got a lot of water from those berries. I never even realized it. Wow. All right, let's get in here. And uh, it is super dark. Let me turn on the light. Uh, we're gonna need some stuff. All right, I'm gonna pop that onto my belt then for a little bit of light. Sweet. All right, let's actually, what did I need for this again? I know it was like a hundred hide. Oh, I already had a bunch on me. Yeah, that, uh, that was silly. Let's pop that into there. So we needed that and then 50 metal. Wow, okay. So it's very expensive just for a simple skin, but I do have a good amount of metal here. There we go. And then boom. And then what else was it again? Wait, was that it? Oh yeah, it's just those three things. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's get that made up. Nice. Alrighty. Let me uh, let me pop that onto my, my little hatchet right here. Uh, oh, oh, it went into here. Yeah, I keep forgetting that that exists. Here we go. Okay. That's pretty nice looking. I like it. Ooh, it's got cool markings on it as well. Nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's a nice little skin. I mean, I like these, um, these little stylized skins. Like, it's a really cool, uh, thing to add in. That's one thing that, you know, maybe, maybe not everybody's super hyped about the idea of paying for more, um, for more little DLCs and everything, but those adventure packs are going to add in a lot of things like this, I would imagine, and I cannot wait for the Führer adventure pack. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, check out the, uh, the video I did on some ARC news from last week. Um, all right, what else can we make? I mean, we have a good amount of chitin, but not enough to be able to mass produce uh, some cementing paste. We have a little bit of cementing paste, so clearly we did find a beaver dam or something. We could have gotten it out of a drop as well. I don't really remember. Maybe you guys remember. I don't even know if I grabbed that. That's another thing. So, yeah. Um, we should make a fabricator, though. So, I don't think I already have that learned, do I? Fab. Boom. Make that up. If we can, mayhaps. What do we need? Oil. Oh, I don't have any oil. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I don't think I've even seen any, any like, trilobites or anything. We don't have any oil at all, so... Crap. How am I gonna get oil? Uh... Trilobites. I definitely haven't seen any. I mean, not not obvious ones anyway. Yeah. I feel like I would've spotted them around this area a little bit. The water's a lot clearer on this map as well, actually. I didn't do anything to make that be like that. It's just kind of like that. I don't see any trilobites right now i mean i that's not to say that they're not here they could easily be there but i don't see them i don't see any oil nodes either because we do have a scuba tank and oil usually the best place to look for it is in the ocean yeah so we can't really progress a huge amount without some oil i'm gonna need to get some uh, the only other thing is some hesperornis if i could find some of them and then just sit around them for a little while, grabbing their eggs. You can you can boil those eggs and turn that into uh, into oil. That's another thing that we could do. But yeah, I don't I don't actually even see any oil nodes. I'm I mean that's not to say that they're not out there. They easily could be. It's kind of hard to like see because the water's a little bit wobbly. There we go. We are also drowning. Oxygen is very important. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see any. Uh, crap. Also, I'd have to swim out to it, and I don't think I have anything that's, like, super great at swimming, so we are kind of screwed in terms of trying to progress in that way. Yeah. I mean, it's, we, it is very early days, and we also don't know the map, so maybe what I should be doing is, we'll see if we can go and find, I don't know if the May Wings are in. If they are in, we will try and get one for the next episode, because that would be huge. Like, it's essentially a flyer, except you can't, move around infinitely in the sky with it, you know? Um, besides that, it's everything that a flyer is, <laughs> essentially. Um, if we could get that, we could it, we could try and find some oil nodes somewhere on the map. Um, but if not, then we could just keep going for the drops and eventually get one. By the way, that's what the S creatures look like in the dark. They are super cool looking. 
also having a May Wing would mean that I'd be able to find the S creature so easily because at nighttime, like that is that is so obvious, even from like a good distance as well. So yeah, I think that's the plan. Um it's very, very dark. Uh my torch went off because of course we jumped into the water. Um yeah, that's the plan. We can't really make a whole lot of progress right now until I learn where these resources actually are and until I get to them as well. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this one, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button. Um, subscribe as well if you want to see more. It would have been great to be able to use this organic polymer while it's still fresh, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, I will catch you in the next one.